How's it going everyone? In this video we'll be taking a look at three applications at once because if I only show you one application it'll be one minute long and you'll be bored out of your mind. Today we're taking another look at the eBay application as well as two other browsers. Now the application version is still 4211 and overall it's a great addition to the web browsing eBay experience but there is still one problem that I briefly mentioned in my original video. The problem is that you keep, you have to keep going to the web browser in order to contact the sellers. The application does not let you contact the sellers. Also, there seems to be a problem with browsing images in the landscape view. In portrait, you can slide back and forth with no problems, but when you turn landscape, the images don't slide as fast as they do in portrait mode. There seems to be some sort of a hiccup when you slide your finger back and forth. Now up next is my favorite browser of all time, it's called Naked Browser Pro. This is version 1.0, build 5.5. Now the reason it's called the Naked Browser is primarily due to its simple design, its flexibility, and the number of different options that you can choose from to customize your experience. You can customize things like the user agent, volume buttons, uh, ling long presses, uh, double taps, single taps, menu options, finger swipes, double finger swipes, single finger swipes, and just a number of other options. However, over a period of time I have noticed that it does not keep your user agent set to whatever you set it to originally. In other words, every single other website that you visit, you need to change your user agent if you want to go to, say, desktop mode. You need to change it for each and every single website. And it does keep it in its memory, but the fact that you keep have to change it for every single site that you visit does not make it that versatile. Although I do think that if you have X privacy installed, you can set your default user agent to be the Mozilla Linux one 5.0 and the naked browser will see it as the default user agent for all web pages. It's just my Nexus XP does not have X privacy installed due to the exposed issues. However, it is still a very good browser and I highly recommend it to anybody, including its pro version. Yes, it costs a dollar or so, but it's totally worth it. And now comes the Chromium browser version 49.0.25710. Now what I understand from reading between the differences of Chromium and Google Chrome is that Google Chrome browser is well tested, ready from prime time and user product. A product that is not fully open source but is open source for the most part. Whereas Chromium browser is completely open source, but users cannot download it from within the Play Store and are required to download and install it manually. Now I got mine pre-installed with the Dirty Unicorns ROM that I'm running on the Nexus XP and I will be testing it throughout the next couple of weeks to see if it can replace the naked browser that I've been running for the past six months or so. 
By the way, the reason you're not seeing the mobile version of that Google web page is because of the custom user agent that is running in the background.